Well, new at 5:30, we have just learned that Jared Ramos was will set to be sentenced September 28th after he was found criminally responsible for that Capitol Gazette mass shooting. The second phase of the trial for Ramos lasted more than two weeks. The jury of eight men and four women said he was responsible for that shooting that left five people dead. Baltimore City is an island, a heat island. That is according to climate scientists. WJZ is live in East Baltimore. Paul Gessler shows us what's contributing to the city's elevated heat index. Paul. Hi, Denise. So this area north of Patterson Park in East Baltimore is the hottest in the city. Baltimore, this new report shows, is seven degrees warmer on average. This save a lot on Monument and Milton is one of the few local respites from the July heat. In the hundreds. It feels like it anyway. Taquanda lives and works in McKeldery Park, named the city's hottest neighborhood by a 2019 investigative journalism project. It's too hot to be out here for real, even for kids. That's serves when it's 87 degrees at nighttime. A Climate Central report this month shows Baltimore's urban heat index of 7.1 means it's seven degrees hotter on average. So Dr. Elizabeth Dahl studies climate at Loyola University, yeah. Maryland. It's not surprising. It's also an old city, right? So a lot of those buildings weren't built to live in the climate that we, to be in the climate we have now, right? Dr. Dahl points out we weren't really thinking about green space when Baltimore was built. Lots of pavement and tall buildings are both cited as critical components of Baltimore's high index score. There, they might be shading the surface somewhat, but the, or the energy they're absorbing from the sun is giving off heat to the surrounding spaces. Experts say in order to decrease our heat index, we need to dramatically increase our tree canopy, especially street trees like these planted along Fate Avenue in southeast Baltimore this summer. Hey, look, ain't no trees. It's a wide open area, not but sun. Maybe they can put some more around in this area. The high heat traps air, leading to negative health impacts. Dr. Dahl also tracks air quality in real time. It's not just a bubble of heat, it's also a bubble of dirty air. That concerns Warren Hawkins and others. For the future, because you know, it might can cause other things, health problems. Cities can plant more trees, but homeowners can do something too. Research shows even coating your roof white can reduce that heat island effect by tra not trapping in as much solar radiation. Of course, we've had our share of heat waves throughout this summer. Let's go back inside the Chelsea Ingram to tell us how Baltimore's faring. Chelsea? 